Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas, and it's December 20th. Can you believe it? We only have five more days until Christmas. I've really enjoyed reading our Christmas devotional for you. Uh, I've been here every single day for you from December 1st, and I'll continue all the way until Christmas Day itself. And of course, you're welcome to start right here if you'd like, or you can always go back and start from the beginning, watch them all from December 1st. Each uh, one of these devotionals is only a couple of minutes long. And if you find any joy or any inspiration from today's reading, please feel free to post it to your own social media wall. Or if you think somebody else might benefit from it, you can post it to their wall. Our December 20th reading is called, They're Shown a Holy Light. And the passage today is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. It says, For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. You know, it's not hard to get overwhelmed in the holiday season. Throw a worldwide pandemic on top of things, and that sure doesn't help. Or how about a speeding ticket? Or on top of all of that, some high credit card bills? Or the fact that your company didn't give out Christmas bonuses this year? Any one of those things could be a foothold for unrest and hopelessness. Have enough stressful days in a row, and it might come out in something that we say, or something we do. You might even carry it on your face. People look at our faces, and sometimes, instead of seeing the light of God shining in our lives, they see weariness or emptiness. Try finding the darkest place in your house. Maybe it's a closet. And go in there and shut the door. Now, consider all the people that you know right now who don't have the light of Jesus Christ in their lives. This darkness that you see is a symbol of how they live every single day. This is why I'm grateful for candles at Christmas time. Candles remind us that this season we welcome the light of God into our world. Jesus says in John 8:12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So in the hustle and the bustle of this season, be reminded that we need the guiding light to point the way and to remind us of what truly matters. Jesus brings light to all who walk in darkness, and he alone offers hope and rest. Thanks for watching this devotional with us today. Be sure to tune back in tomorrow for our December 21st reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.